Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading um, for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Well, my ex return. This is going to be for May 2021. So these are the Sagittarians that are currently entertaining the idea of um, reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you or both of you wanting to entertain the idea of reconciliation. So uh, we're going to take a look at your current uh, mutual energies between you and your ex, and then we'll see what happened in the past here. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be a uh, reconciliation between you two. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. And um, and if this message resonated, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. So let's get started here. Overall mutual energies between Sagittarius and their ex for May 2021. What are the current uh, mutual energies between Sagittarius and their ex for May 2021 here? We have the Knight of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Six of Wands, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Ace of Pentacles. So the mutual energy is I'm, that I'm feeling right now, both of you are wanting to rush towards each other for victory, for a new beginning, Nine of Swords, but Empress. I don't know, one of you might be feeling too good for this, like one of you might not even want to entertain this. Because one person's stressing out whether the per one person wants to uh, uh entertain this or not um okay let's do this one here get some clarifiers for you guys all right tell me about this knight of swords in the Page of Swords, okay. Seems like someone might be rushing in for some sort of communication. Both of these want to communicate. Both of these might be uh, texting each other right now, um, looking at each other's social media. Maybe there's a bit of stalking, you know, because the Page of Swords is a very curious energy. Um, it's wanting to gain knowledge, wanting to know. Um, tell me about the Six of Wands. You got the Fool, Aries, Aquarius, Energy. So, tell me about the Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. So, you know, I feel like one, I feel like you guys want to take a leap here, but at the same time, I feel like there is, there's still some conflict, maybe some unresolved conflict here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. The problem is, I feel like you guys want a new start here, but uh, uh, there's a lack of, there's a lack of balance and stability between you two. There's just too much conflict. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lack of balance here. There's a lack of equal give and take.
There might be a difference in maturity levels too. Tell me about the Empress and the Lovers. Gemini energy. We have the world here. I'm feeling like there's unfinished business between you two. But like I said, I feel like someone here, you know, might be in this uh, energy of not really entertaining this again. Probably finding self-love for themselves. Um, so we have a feminine energy here and a younger masculine energy. Um, we'll, we'll see what else we get once uh, we pull more cards here. Um, you have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, the Fool. All right, let's see. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Nine of Swords being clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Empress being clarified by the uh, Lovers. All right, let's see. What happened in the past between Sagittarius and their ex? What caused the split between Sagittarius and their ex? Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Mm. Maybe there was an issue with money here. You have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there was concern here uh, with that. Um, we have the Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Five of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of conflict between you two. I don't know if there was a disagreement in money or something like that, or just a difference in maturity levels. Um, it just seems like there was a lot of fighting. Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So it seems like you guys came together with the goal of, you know, you know, moving towards higher levels of commitment, but I feel like it never happens because of all this conflict, like all this money issue. Um, I feel like the, the uh, there was just maybe some holding back, some uh, stagnancy here. Um, let's see. Maybe someone lacks money here, or both of you, uh, that could have been an issue. So take it as it resonates, Sagittarius, and also place yourself where you see fit. Keep in mind the roles could be flipped or reversed. All right, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's see, Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Someone might not have, someone might not have had a job. If someone did have a job, um, they didn't make a lot of money. Or someone was not even, uh, someone was not even seeking a job if they didn't have a job. So I feel like there are two energies, a younger energy and a, um, you know, a more mature energy with this Empress and this Queen of Swords, because you have the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords there. You have a Page of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. So one person, this younger energy, could have been in it for what this Empress or this Queen for money, perhaps. I mean, the Empress is a very abundant energy. Um, so, tell me about this uh, hangman. Nine of Cups. 
coming with the Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Mm, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there, I, there's just money issues. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of fighting surrounding money. Uh, tell me about the Three of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. It just seemed like... Yeah, it just seemed the conflict around money stagnated the uh, connection. Yeah, and... There is hurt surrounding this because of that. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling there had there was a lot of money. You have the four of pentacles here two times. Um, and also, I feel like someone just got sick of the mind games or sick of the gaslighting. Um, it just seemed like this connection just didn't go anywhere. Um, it seemed like there was a, a bit of a, a imbalance here uh, with money and also with the maturity level between you two. Seven of Pentacles. I don't even think there was really love in this connection. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling that. Um, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles being clarified by this. Um, five, four of Pentacles being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. All right, we have the Hangman being clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords being clarified by the Nine of Wands. Yeah, someone could have been a bit selfish here, uh, holding back or just stagnating the connection, not allowing the connection to grow. Maybe someone here was not in this energy of growing up or maturing or something like that. Um, it seemed... Um, it just seems like instead of it being, you know, an equal partnership, it was more like, you know, maybe someone came into this relationship seeing this empress as a parental figure so that this younger energy could be taken care of. Um, Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Will there be reconciliation between uh, Sagittarius and their ex for May 2021? All right, will there be reconciliation between Sagittarius and their ex? for May 2021. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles again. We have that three times here. Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Four Swords. Page of Cups. I feel like you guys are sort of communicating here. Minimal communication. But in terms of reconciliation, mm, not really. There's just a lack of growth and change here. There's, I feel, I feel like there's someone here that's struggling with money or just being lazy. Uh, tell me about this Hierophant. Yeah, I, I just don't feel like this connection is really going anywhere. I feel like there's one person, this Empress, is pretty much very aware of that. Um, I feel like someone's given more than they should have. Yeah, and I just feel like this Empress is not going to give anymore. Um, tell me about this Hierophant. Alright, the Lovers. Tell me about the Moon. The Hierophant. Mm. I don't know. I feel like there's this energy of like wanting to give this a try again. Yeah, because the mutual energy here is, you know, there's a sense of wanting to rush in and sort of fix this.
but there's stress surrounding money here. Um, yeah, or just not, it doesn't have to be money or just uh, energy, um, you know, someone giving more energy than they should have. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Three of Swords. So I, I feel like someone... We have the Three of Swords there, so... Uh, I do feel like someone here, especially this younger energy, this page, might not be doing well without this Empress because maybe this person does rely on this person for... Uh, re rely on this person financially. Uh, tell me about the Strength card. Five of Cups. I just feel like there's just disappointment surrounding this that didn't that this didn't work out, or like someone's disappointed that they uh, allowed someone to sort of take advantage of them. Um, so a page taking advantage of the um, feminine energy here, uh, this divine feminine energy. Tell me about death in the Eight of Wands. You have death again. So I, I just don't feel this is coming back together. It's just, there's just too much hurt here. Um, I feel like there's just a lack of growth and change and evolution. I feel like someone here just rather be alone than having to... Um, take care of someone that's not, you know, on the same level as them. So I do feel like there is some sort of maybe secretly, you know, there's this energy of wanting to come together for commitment. Um, but the thing is, I, I feel like it's not going to happen here. Um, yeah, you have this Four of Swords and this Eight of Swords. I feel like someone's just really, really, really in their head about this. Um, I just feel like this little page here is just not doing well emotionally without this Empress or this Queen of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like this Empress and this Queen of Swords is just really, really disappointed um, because there's just a lack of growth and a lack of change here. Just a huge imbalance. So Sagittarius, this is your uh, general love reading. Will my ex return? If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.